but Today, I'm gonna do like maybe a vlog, a daily vlog, so y'all can see kind of why. I don't always stream during the week, but I stream on the weekends, but then we'll go get into some stuff. So this morning, the base does a brunch once a week, so we're heading to brunch now. It's almost nine o'clock. And then after that, I need some new compressions for the gym, some basketball shorts, and some basketball shoes. So we're starting an intramural team here, so. I'm gonna go head over to Nike and check out the Mitsui outlets right after that. And then we also have some new shirts that came in from Heavyweights. So we'll break those out like just got here. We are at the Enlisted Club where they do the brunch. So for us, we pay for two adults and two of our daughters we gotta pay for. The other two kids are free. Last time we came, it was an even $65. But they have like a breakfast buffet line, uh, lunchtime I guess buffet line there's a smoothie slash milkshake bar fruit table a baked goods table a champagne there's a bunch of stuff in there so let's go so chair for miles thank you so much so you got breakfast lunch crepes baked goods milkshakes and baked goods Right, so we're now inside. You can see some more people have shown up. So, what did you get, Aaliyah? So, I got some French toast with some whipped cream, um, some popcorn shrimp, or just shrimp, some white rice, pineapple, potatoes, which are like French fries. You need ketchup. I know, and then I got bacon. What's that? With, with a muffin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mouthful. All right, we'll come back to you. Mommy, what did you get? She, she got a donut, some broccoli, a waffle, whipped cream, strawberries, grapes, sausage, eggs, potatoes, corn, broccoli. How is it? How is it? Is it good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you? Got right, waffle, potatoes, fruit, and then a biscuit with whipped cream and strawberries. So the biscuit with whipped cream thing is my idea. She just stole it. So when I was in basic training couldn't have like desserts and stuff, but they would serve like fruit toppings for biscuits. So I would get that, sneak a little bit of whipped cream, put that on top, got a dessert right there. But for me, I decided to get a almond croissant, French toast with whipped cream, strawberries, and syrup, some pineapples, eggs and cheese, potatoes, and veggie tea. So this is gonna be the breakfast plate of the buffet, and then we'll go back and we'll do the brunch, which is gonna be on that side over there. I have a donut, some yeah. potatoes, potatoes, bacon, a waffle, oh. and I had honeydew and grapes, but I ate all of them, uh -huh. and French toast. Which one's your favorite so far? Bacon. 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 This is your best one. All right, that was good. Um, Next, we're going to do the lunch. The lunch plate. We're going to get some dessert. I don't know if we want lunch or if we want dessert. We'll have to figure that out. Look at my look at this Apple Watch. So, I used to be super against these. I had like seven mechanical watches that I decided to, for my fitness goals this year, I'm going to change up a little bit and try out the Apple Watch. So far, so good. But I had to turn off like the phone calls and all that stuff. I don't need that going through there. We got messages, text messages coming through there. But, other than that, What? Mouth. Uh, <laughs> yes, but other than that, we're good. Um, we got the lunch plate. So we got the pasta, cheesy potatoes, corn, mixed vegetables, and a little green shamrock. A little cupcake. So that's like. Aaliyah went back up. More pineapple. Chocolate with 
the marble cone because it looked intriguing. Daddy. Yeah, so, so far, this is the end of it. Really good. Love it. Stay bright. It must be good. It's good. Miles. 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 Alright, so that was brunch. So now we are heading to the car to go to Nike at the Mitsui outlet. So it's about a 30 minute drive. Not too bad, but traffic over there can be a beast because there's a Costco right next door. Do not go inside a Costco on Sunday. Pre-warned. But off we go. Bye! Whee! All right, so we just got to Mitsui Outlet it's right over there. So we're just here, really to go to the Nike store, but waste some time today. So we might walk around for a little bit, show y'all around, kind of what else we got here. So we're not going into the Costco. Um, we'll do that a different day and show y'all around. But yeah, is there anything y'all want to look at while we're here? Yes. Um, yes. Crack. I guess we could just walk Crack. around. Crack. I guess we could just walk around. Yep, and we learned from our past mistakes. We got a charger for it, so let's go. All right, so this is like weird today. So in the shade, it's like uber cold. As soon as you get into the sun, it's hot. So I can't decide, do I need a hoodie? Do I not need a hoodie? Or what? Wait, we gotta go to the elevator. It's over here. Hold on, all right, go press the button. Oh, it only goes up. <laughs> one first floor, it only goes one way. All right, get in, get in, get in, get in. Get in, get in, get in. Didn't feel. She getting it, whatever she's saying. We talking fast, you made me win it. I ain't even talking. Here, up with Fast Champion Store. So here they have what? Puma, Under Armour, Adidas, Adidas Golf, Asics. I didn't say Asics already. Nike. I think we got a Reebok outlet, North Face, Levi, yeah. G Star, G Star denims. If you want to spend a bunch of money on some jeans, they got them as well. They got something. But be careful when y'all buy stuff. You gotta make sure you check your size because it is not the same as US. So, are they open? Did we just come all the way out here for nothing? Y'all gonna be so heated. I don't know if they open. They open. Okay. We're good. I don't know. So, last time. They cut the store in half and it was down there that was open. This time, it looks like they got this half open. All right, so again, it's a shrunken version of the store. But let's see what we can find. We're really here for basketball shoes, so let's head to the back. Crowded. That's one thing. Be prepared to wait. Yeah, if you want to. Alright, you got him. That one is the only one that they have. Uh, it's pair of bronze. Those aren't my size. Mommy, I was holding. All right, so mission success. We were able to, well, semi-successful. So I picked up two pairs of Tech Police pants, uh, two pairs of compression for the gym, but I couldn't find any basketball shoes. So now we're going to check the other outlets around, see if we can find something there. Pizza. Pizza. 
Yeah. <laughs> the kids want to go into the Crocs store. No. So, yeah. I guess we'll go. <laughs> we're going to the Crocs store. Look, she, she is excited. Goodness. <laughs> I think she just likes looking at the gibbets. Wow. It's just a pretty cool Yeah. Platform Crocs. Sandal Crocs. Ooh, look at those. Ooh, they got also Crocs. Aria. Look. They got Elsa. Batman. New Balance Reebok. So we're gonna go in Under Armour, see if we can find some basketball shoes because they didn't have any in the other two stores. But the girls bought like seventy dollars worth of um, Crocs. So that fit. Yeah, so soon fine. Um, all right. So that was a quick trip. Um, Under Armour only had running stuff. But it's right next door to Puma. So I don't even know what kind of Puma shoes they have for basketball other than the Mellows. But I feel like I'm not going to find any Mellows at the outlet. But we'll see. Y'all wish me luck. Let's go to Puma. close to my size. Well, those are UK size. They still don't have close to my size unless I can fit an 11, which I feel like I might not be able to. So, just left Puma, and they didn't have anything. I mean, they had three pairs of shoes, but the biggest size they had was an 11, the US 11. I couldn't even get my foot into it. I don't know what was going on with that. So, now we're walking down. They still have um, Reebok, New Balance, and I think an ASIC store. I think the A6 is more just running stuff, so we're gonna go check that out and see. Uh, so, yep, on to the next one. We just got out of New Balance and they had nothing. So, now it looks like they reopened Adidas. Last time we were here, it was closed. So, maybe Adidas will have something. But as you can see by the hat, the hoodie, even my basic pandas down here. I'm more of a Nike person, but that is what you gotta do sometimes. Minecraft is like, let's make a shoe. <laughs> 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 
basketball shoes hopefully I know they got basketball shorts in there at least I know what I'm going to show y'all earlier though Let's see my shirt y'all like it it's from the Yakota Khan so it was like the base had its own uh, pretty much a Comic Con type thing it's pretty cool so now let's go down to Victoria see what we can find this is Victoria it's like their it's essentially what like a dick sporting goods There's more stuff Let's see if we can find some shoes. saw on nikejapan.com that I wanted but they didn't have my size and they were like 5,000 yen cheaper in the store here than they were online so successful we got some shorts too without pockets so it's super hard finding any any shorts without pockets nowadays I don't know why but that's whatever so now we're walking through the mall um yeah we'll just keep the day back home uh okay what we do today we went to brunch this morning Went to the Nike store, uh, went shopping at Puma, Under Armour, Asics, Adidas, and none of them had any basketball shoes, which was the initial point of our trip anyway. But we found some later on at the mall. So, All right, so let's look and see what we got from Nike. So we picked up some Nike Pro. I'm gonna say these are full length. I believe they're full lift compressions. So it's been going to the gym more, but I don't have enough compressions to go. And these are about 3,599 yen. So about maybe 30 bucks or so each. So it's not too bad. And then my favorite pants to travel in is the Nike Tech Fleece. So this zipper pocket here saved my life. So <laughs> give y'all background story. So when we were 
I think we were in Guam. We were in Guam. No, we were in Nebraska. I was living in Nebraska at the time. And we went back to Virginia on a trip. And my parents gave me some money for parking the car at the airport in Nebraska, right? So I come out of the bathroom at Dulles. Can't find my wallet. I was wearing jeans at the time. Nowhere to be found. While well, it should have been in the back pocket, I went all the way back as far as I could go <clears throat> without going through security. Could not find my wallet, right? So we finally get back to Nebraska, go through this whole ordeal, get a new ID, blah, blah, blah. I get a Facebook message from somebody at the Pentagon. Somebody found my ID in DC and was able to get it back to me, even though I, I got a new one. So thank you to that person. But ever since then, I have not put my wallet in my back pocket. When I travel, I wear some pants like this that has that deep zipper where I can stick stuff in. And it's, it's a wrap. Jeans are not meant for traveling for me, clearly. I'm paranoid now. And then we got the black pair as well. So oddly enough, both of these are size medium. But typically, uh, in Japanese sizes, I can get by with wearing a large, but not these. These, size medium, good to go. That's all we got from Nike. So now, the reason for our trip today, we got our shoes. So you can see, size 12, and we got the price tag, 30 centimeters right there. Jordan box. I haven't been on a basketball team in shoot oh, three years, four years maybe. But got offered the chance to play on a team this coming season. So I figure if I'm gonna play, I'm gonna at least give me some shoes that I can wear and feel comfortable in. So we were able to pick up the Jordan 37s. And ironically enough. This pair I was looking at on Nike Japan and they did not have my size. So I went around looking everywhere else trying to find just a shoe that fit. Going to Victoria, the last place I looked for. So they were out of every Jordan 37 in my size except for this pair here, which is actually the first pair I wanted, ironically enough. So we were able to get a pair of Jordan 37s to go hooping in. Try them on, they fit perfectly. Looks like they even relaced the loop a little bit. I can't read none of this that's on there. So, quick review of these. They got Jordan on the tongue, it's padding, padded. Little jump man here on the tab. Michael Jordan signature on the backside. As always, you got your jump man on the heel. A little Oreo speckle on the outsole. AJ. 37 then jump man on the bottom and there's different uh little sands on here so it says back to back gold medal mvp scoring champ and then of course air zoom and these are actually like a real thin knit so you can kind of see through it but i wear black socks anyway so you won't be seeing my feet i don't do that best but yeah Air Jordan 37s, new shoes for the basketball season. And then, what else? So, y'all see my channel, if you haven't before. I really like the heavyweight shirts. I love the vintage look to them. A nice feel to them, nice weight, nice size. It's perfect, perfect t-shirt. So, I ordered what I thought was just one, but I ended up with two. So the one I didn't know that I ordered, <laughs> ironically enough with all the stuff going on with him right now, is the white Ja Morant tee. So what do y'all think of that? Ja Morant down at the bottom. I mean, it's a nice, look, nice looking tee, I think. But then the real reason that I ordered from Heavyweights. This is the shirt that I meant to get, the only one I thought I got. So the first thing you'll see, it has that vintage faded black wash look to it. This is a side, both of these are size large as well. So this is LeBron scoring champ tee. Yeah, I think 
so it says, of course, chosen one. Got LeBron from the Lakers, the Cavs, young LeBron uh, when he first entered, Duncan down there. And then you got a bunch of different players down here that are on the scoring list, like Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. There's a bunch of people looking up to him. I think that's really dope. And there's a backside graphic on this one. There's no backside on the Morant, just this one. So you have the different accolades of LeBron while he was playing. So you got four-time NBA champion, four-time finals MVP, 19-time All-Star, 2004 Rookie of the Year, number one draft pick. It was a four-time most valuable player and leading all-time scorer in the NBA. Y'all think? I think that's a pretty fire tee. And then of course at the top, just a kid from Akron. Twenty-three. All right. So what y'all think? That was our day today. It's a good, good day for us. It's fun to get out. Uh, we try trying to post more of these vlogs here with our last year in Japan. Get out, see a couple more things. There is a Hogwarts. I don't even know what to call it. What do you call it? A Hogwarts station coming? Harry Potter theme park. Uh, Harry Potter theme park. That's it. Harry Potter theme park coming to Tokyo later this year. I think in the summertime. Uh, you get to go to what? Um, like the train station, Hogwarts. I think two other places that they've completely re uh, constructed this building to the look like. Indoor Harry Potter theme park in the world. Yeah, it's the biggest one in the world. So. We'll make sure we check that out. We'll bring the camera with us so that way we can bring y'all with us to see it. So, as always, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you head over to my Twitch, the Facebook, the Discord, Instagram, everything. Y'all can follow me pretty much anywhere. Get a hold of your boy. Till next time, King. Peace.